2012 Texas Showcase Camp held in the Dallas region this past weekend brought out 125 athletes from the 15th state region. The talent was strong in many different aspects and the following is a list of the top performers. The 2013 class was dominated by Kerry Vedvik and Ty Cummings. Ty has already been offered by multiple Division I schools and is currently committed to the University of Houston. Ty's repeatability and explosiveness was evident in the drill work and during many phases of camp. Kerry Vedvik is an outstanding prospect in the 2013 class. Kerry won the field goal competition by easily hitting a 60-yard field goal off the ground and has tremendous ability to be able to create leg speed with his long levers and overall athletic body. Being 6'4", 195 pounds with tremendous leg speed makes the ball jump off Kerry's foot faster than almost anybody else we've seen in the 2013 class. Brenton Zuzo from Michigan had an outstanding day. His field goal height and field goal range were at the D1 scholarship level. Brenton someone who also punted extremely well and is an overall great prospect, someone that's, that many colleges should be looking at currently. Landon Bullock from Tennessee also had an outstanding day, finishing in the top five on kickoffs and making eight out of ten field goals. Weston Gray, Juan Caranco, Alonzo Acosta are longtime Coles campers who have done an outstanding job throughout their careers, each having strong resumes, and this camp was no exception. Each of those guys showed well in different phases of camp. Juan is probably the best punter of the group. Weston's probably the best on kickoffs. And Alonzo is someone who is steady in all, all facets. He's a proven performer who I trust will be able to compete early in college. Tyler Ridlin, a 2013 kicker from Indiana, also had an outstanding day, going 10 for 10 during the charting phase of camp. The Texas Showcase had some of the most exciting prospects that we've seen in the 2014 class. Starting off, Hunter Morrill and Drew Brown are outstanding D1 scholarship kickers. Both of those guys show repeatability, height, consistency, and overall leg strength and repeatability in pressure situations to be able to perform at the highest level of college football. They will be in contention for many of the best scholarships in the 2014 class. Cameron Gamble and Adam Centers, both Texas products in the 2014 class, had outstanding days on kickoffs. Adam won the overall charting competition and Cameron won the contest at the end of camp. Both of those guys have D1 kickoff legs and the, report, the repeatability and overall consistency is something we're going to work on in the coming months to make them D1 prospects on field goals as well. Trevor Moore from Oklahoma is another athlete who stood out to me at camp. His repeatability on field goals and his overall improvement in leg speed and the way the ball jumps off his foot were very impressive. Trevor is someone to watch for in the coming months and is probably going to be an early commit at a D1 college. Two other guys that had great days are Brock Elmore from Indiana and Josh Pollock from Illinois. The guys made the trip down to Texas, took advantage of the beautiful weather, and both performed fantastic in, in the punting charting phase of camp. Brock won the overall punt competition by hitting multiple punts over 55 yards, showing impressive hang time as well. Josh is someone who can do both kicking and punting at a high level as well. Another solid performer at camp was Austin McGahey, a 2014 punter from Arkansas who also kicks. Austin's ability to be able to turn balls over consistently and have good hand to toe times was impressive for someone of that age in the punting division. The snapping division was dominated by two 2014 prospects. Chad Lamar, a 6 foot 185 pound snapper from Mississippi and Curtis Billing, a 6 foot 1, 220 pound snapper from Washington, each finished first and second in the snapping charting results. They both showed velocity and ability to repeat their motion in consistent patterns in order to allow them to be able to chart the best. The 2013 class was well represented in the snapping competition phase of camp. Will Fisher, a 6 foot, 205 pound snapper from Tennessee, calmly stepped up and hit two out of two in the snapping finals to take home the prize as the snap champion at camp. We are excited what we saw this past weekend at the Texas Showcase. Many of these athletes should be in contention at the Underclassmen Challenge as top finishers. And we're excited for what happens this upcoming week when we go out to Los Angeles and finish with our Showcase Camp Tour at the Wisconsin Dells Chula Vista Resort. Check back next week to find out who the top performers were at the Western and Midwest Showcase Camps.